Okay, good morning, good day. Eight Kislev. Eight Kislev. Nine Kislev is the uh, yummy lettuce on the orange side of the, the middle of Rebbe. Tomorrow. Okay. Bur yeah, birth of death tomorrow. Okay, but today, Hayom Yom, a person should contemplate. Contemplate this. How great are the kindnesses of the Creator that the smallest of the small, which is man, the human being, that our, we little people can bring great pleasure to the greatest of the great. As it is written of him, there is no limit to his greatness. The person might therefore, the person ought therefore to be in a constant state of inspiration and perform the avoida with a willing heart and spirit. To think of not only that they got the capability, but the privilege that we have to have a mechanism for becoming connected to the infinite. Okay? And the mechanism is primarily we're fo primarily, I'm using that word particularly, but we're focusing on mitzvahs. Lessons in Tanya. Page uh, 331. 331. Ubar min kol din. Besides all of the above, which we'll get into here in Lukuti Amorim. Akuti Amorim, on page. Yeah, bottom of page, Kuf Nun Zion, three lines up, Bar Mikoldin. Okay, again, I want to dedicate each day, this every day, uh, to our Chayolim in Eretz Yisrael, and to all the Chayolim based David, the Rebbe called all of us soldiers in the war to bring Mashiach. This pasuk that says Hashem oiz lama yitain, Hashem brings strength to His people, and it goes on. Then Chazal say Ein oiz el Torah. There's no strength el Torah. So our learning should be, or should at least add to the strength of our chayolim, and to the strength, collective strength, and the collective will of all of us to bring Mashiach. In addition. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Amen is right. Amen. In addition, <laughs> Amen. In addition uh, I want to, as I said yesterday, start opening up any uh, any uh, refuah shlemas that anyone would like to mention that they should that our learning should be the schus in schus in the schus of bringing healing to them. Any names? Yehudas, uh, Golda, Bas, Aliza. Oh, no. Amen. Amen. Liba Malka Bas Gila Zelda. Should have a refuish lane. Bikorev Mamish. Amen. Okay. Barman called in. Besides all of this that we have said, and essentially about mitzvahs, the essential principle that we've we use over and over again. Chassidah, we came last night in our Chassidus class. The Yalta Rebbe brought it to you again many times to the table. In the beginning is wedged in the end. The beginning is God's deepest levels of consciousness. Ultimate, his will and even his delight are enclosed in the lowest of the low, which is mitzvahs. In addition, besides all that, afilu ben Even if we're speaking about a soul that is a soul of atzilus, in other words, a soul that originated in atzilus and came straight through down here below, and there are some souls like that who didn't get uh, sullied by the descent and came down with the vision of Atsilas intact, being able to see from one end of the world to the other, 
beginning and end and up and down. So even if it's soul of Atsilas, even though the Ha'ora, the light of that soul is coming through vessels of Atsilas, lights going to vessels, and likewise, the lower levels of the soul, the nefesh of the ruach, come from the kalim of Yesira, Asiya, they come on down. The love and fear, the intrinsic love and fear of, the, of this neshama, which is the in the uh, chilo v'rachima sichli, the intellectual love and fear, the love and fear which is rooted in in the brain, shalahem of them, ma'odirim they arouse gam kem bekelim diyatsiruisir. They have an effect. That's this love and fear, the emotions that you have. This is the emotions that you feel, the kavanas and the emotions that you feel when you daven, or the kavanas that you have when you do a mitzvah have an effect in the lower worlds. In the manner of bechinis halo memata lamaila, which is the raising from below to above, I have a yearning, a feeling in my heart, and to and that feeling is a feeling of wanting, wanting ultimately to expire upward, ultimately, as for sholem to leave the body and be out of the body, and there are people like that, people whom I know even, who have had those kinds of experiences, and the experience is halo to raise up from below to above. What we call an arousal from below. And this is what we call departure. The light rising, his stalkus. You know, we would say to a person, especially about a tzaddik, we use the Russian particularly about a tzaddik when he passes away, that his nistalik, his neshama has gone up. Um, and he says, has v'sholem, because that's not the point. The point isn't to have spiritual arousal on its own. As we'll see, spiritual arousal is totally important, right? There needs to be mitzvahs balai kavana kaguf balai neshama. Mitzvahs without kavana are like a body without a soul. But the, but the spiritual arousings on their own are not worth much, because that isn't what Hashem wants from us. Which is what he does want from us. He doesn't want his stalkus that we just go up and up and up. He wants something to come down. And how does how does the, that happen? That there is a drawing down of godly energy into this world? Is through mitzvahs of deed specifically. The hamshir or bekelim. And the mechanism is uh, described as to draw down light into the vessels, and specifically into the externality of the vessels, meaning that that because the external back to our, my metaphor of the of the coffee cup, right? It's the externality of the vessel which is going to allow it to pour out and come down more and more. The panemius drives the chetzonius, but the chetzonius. This is an interesting way of looking at it, right? The Chetsonius has a value over the Panemius because the Chetsonius is the mechanism by which the Hamshocha is able to spill out and come down from above to below. Hamshik, to draw down the Orbe Kalim, Ube Chetsonius are Kalim. Dafka, specifically in the externality of the Kalim. The Chetsonius are Elyon because the externality of the higher level, Yorid Lamata, drips, descends below. Upanimis hatachton, and it drips into the kaling below, which is the innermost part of the next level. And then the panimis hatachton, oila lamaila, and it rises up above, and this is, creates a circle, a circle of life, from above to below, below to above, like the rain, of, uh, the rain coming down from the evaporation of the moisture, from the evaporation of moisture on the earth, goes up and seeds the clouds, and then the clouds when they get to a certain level of density, bring down. And it's a circle, a circle of life. And this is what's written, or said in the Zohar, in Parshish Pekude, as we cited above. The Is Sidura. There is an order. There, an, oh, there's an order, and the order meaning there's an order of elevation, and then there's an 
of this completing the circle through the descent. Hala, raising up, and Hamshacha, bringing down. There's an order in the, in the cosmos. And the point is the drawing down. The dwelling place that Hashem wants down here. And he says, the Gavoya is the one who is the most high, that's Hashem. He wants both of them. Both of them are necessary. And this is the key. Need not deed alone and not yearning and spirit alone, but that the two should be united. You know, the deed alone, the negativity of that is the uh, doing mitzvahs in a very encrusted and dry way. This is what the Baal Shem Tov came to cure, that Yiddishkeit had dried up. There was a lot of frumkeit, but there wasn't a lot of liveliness in the frumkeit. And Hashem wants both. He wants the drawing down, and he wants the rising up. And that's what he says. Bishtehem surach gaveya. Both of them are necessary for the one on high. Allah raising up, viham shacha, and drawing down. Al yidei man. Through, again, the seeding of the cloud, through raising up to the feminine waters, that's the lower energies, the yearnings which rise up, which are called, called mayim nukhrin, dukhrin, the feminine waters, misag, from the higher levels, bebechines uvda umula, by doing deeds and by speaking. Bezehu taklusa histalshulis, and this is the whole purpose and the whole design of the seder histalshulis. His, what to his galus or elyon lamata to reveal the supernal light down below. The purpose is not the elevation. The elevation brings an energy which which reaches up to shem sag, the highest level, and provokes it again like the seeding of the cloud. But the the moment the, the, what that all of that is that the rising up is just a prelude and a cause and and an excitement that the waters should come from above, which is the purpose, from go down from, from above to below. Shazehu Eino, the rousing, they said, Valayla alis atachton lamayla, the end game, the purpose of everything is not the arousal of, of, of the lowest, of the low to above, but the descent from above to below. Shazehu Eino elu lefisha, because the arousal, the emotions, etc., the love and fear are only empowering that are empowering vehicles for bringing down the love, the the, uh, the the flow from above to below. The Afghan Zeus, and moreover, the Afghan Aliyah Sakalim, the Oidis specifically, when there's an elevation that arouses the upper, the supernal uh, lights, he Mailas Shabbos, which that's and it, Shabbos is Aliyah, right? Shalat Shabbos is Aliyah. Aliyah Sorak Yurida. I mean, that's an inversion. The, 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 the elevation is for the sake of a descent. And we have it the other way around. Yurida Tzorek Aliyah. The purpose that we came down here below is for the elevation of all the sparks. So again, it's the circle. But the main thing is, of the whole circle, the main focus is the, uh, the Berurim and the elevation is, and the, and the uh, realization, the freeing of the of the light from the darkness, which can only be done in mitzvahs. But Shabbos is an aliyah. Aliyah is a Shabbos. B'yam hakipurim. Avaloy aliyah b'histalkas ha'oras. But the point is not that that's not the end game, the elevation and the departure of the lights. Chas v'sholem. To mishikos b'priyes chayim, as is written in the Kabbalah sefers, unaran shelo adam. And the nefesh ruach and the shema of a person; these are the lower levels of the soul. Lagabe gufoi, in relation to because those are the lower levels of the soul which come into the body. But olam azeh, hashivi but hashivi kaoris, and those lower levels are like are energies; they're like lights. Lagabe kalim, in relation to the vessel which is the body. Lechein dechila berachila sichlin. And even the emotions, the and the intellectual emotions, meaning the emotions as they originate in intellect, the gabe mitzvahs, and in relation to mitzvahs maisi is dafka. The whole purpose of the arousal of the spirit is to arouse oneself. Shuv le'echad. Right? This is an expression from Sefer Yitzira. Im rotz libach. 
if your heart runs out, that's you, you're in, you're on fire, and you should be on fire. With a, and we said in the, in the Yom Yom today that we have the uh, we have the ability through our fire from below to unite with the fire from above. Im rotz liba. If you do in that state, or put it this little translated for our purposes better, when you're in that state, you should realize im rotz liba. If your heart is running out and yearning, the purpose that is for that is shuv le'echad. Come back down, return, because that's where the echad, the unity of Hashem, is meant to be expressed in mitzvahs ma'asiyas davka. and therefore, since the whole tachlis of of all of everything that that has that Hashem does is to elevate the sparks of tohu that we've spoken about before that are trapped in the shards and the and the and the, 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 the pieces of of of, of kaolin vessels that have fallen down here below. Therefore, since that's the purpose, loche and his palamashurabenu to feel us communion is chanu. Moshe Rabbeinu, he uh, prayed, prayed the Davin in the number of Eschanon, that number of prayers, for what? al Dafka, to enter the land of Israel, he prayed. And, and Moshe is the Mashiach Ador, the Mashiach of his generation. He's the soul of Mashiach of his generation. He is the most wise of all men, of all people. And in his infinite wisdom, well, deep wisdom, he prays that he should come into the land to do mitzvahs. Mitzvahs Masyas Dafka. Mahuadin Ladibar Gashmi. And you should know this is something we touched upon before, and we're ending today's tiny with this, that the study of halachas, this is Huadin, the same thing accrues to the study of halachas as well as the doing of halachas, because the study leads to deed. So Huadin Ladibar Gashmi. To physical speech, shall hilchasayin. When you physically speak, learn the halachas and bring them into speech, the halachas of mitzvahs. That's today's time. Yes. Can I ask Rivka? <clears throat> You could ask, but Rivka put a hand up before you spoke. Go ahead. Hi. Rivka. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I think one thing that was noted in the text, it says that this idea of this arousal from below, which is called fun, emotionally yeah. invested and uh, intellectually invested, etc. It, it says in the text, Ella Lafisha. That this, is a temporary, for, yeah. this, is a, this is a momentary, a temporary arousal. Right. But when it comes down or when you're doing the physical mitzvahs, I think it's more than that. I think that that has a, sure. has a thing. You're, you're attacking the, the nitsutsots and you're actually changing the reality. Yeah, yeah. Beyond yourself, something outside and beyond yourself. Yeah, the mitzvahs are forever. The yes, spiritual so energies which... Uh, provoke you and get involved and give that mitzvah a heart and soul, they're just preliminary, so to speak. They're, they're lefisha. They're not the, the major thing. The major thing is the, the masah mitzvah. Exactly. Right. That's Thank the intention you. of that. Elisheva, uh, you had something to say? Somebody yeah, has just to say. Yeah, just me, Elisheva. Okay. I just happened to see... I have to speak low because I'm in Oregon and it's like four o'clock in the morning here, but I'm on New York time. Um, I happen to see that um, a muscle from the uh, Mitzvah Rebbe about Chitonius and Pneumius. So he said the Chitonius is it, like Rav, he gave a joke and so he made everybody laugh. And then his Pneumius was when he actually taught Torah. That was his Pneumius. Mm -hmm. And another example is the chitonius is when the father bends all the way down and puts his hands lower than his little toddler son. And then right. that's the chitonius part and lifting him up. And then the panemius part is when he's face to face with him and like giggling. Right. With him. Right. And that, but, <clears throat> go, ahead, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. 
my my question is I I just can't seem to think past those two Michelin and I can't apply it to my life. What is Chetonius and Pneumius in well, it's regular... it's like it's it's what the, as what Rifka brought out and in, in the Lefisha. The first thing the the Chetonius is a preparation for what you really intend. So I'm sure you could find Mashalim, not Mashalim, opportunities for that, where there's a preparation for something else. But the something else is the ikar, right? And the preparation is the prerequisite, let's say, to get to the ikar. Or at least it's it's a part of, it's a necessity if, if, to take the mushal of the, of the, of the child. The, the father would not be able to have a face-to-face -face relationship with him if it weren't for the, pre the preliminary of raising him up. So can you not find like well, I don't know. examples Is it like, of say, that in life? For example, if I'm taking a plane, that's the chitonius part. And when I get there, it's the pneumius yeah, part? That's a good example for sure. That's the prep for getting there. It's a necessary prerequisite. And... He doesn't go so far as to say it's necessary because we, we and it is because we have an halacha mitzvahs loy tzricha kavana. So I won't use the word necessary, right? But certainly, when there is the preparation of kavana, right, then the mitzvahs have soul. They're alive. They dance, right? So in that case, the uh, the, uh, the 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 chilevarechima sichli, the intellectual love and fear, are a preparation to doing the mitzvah in the most chosen way, with the most highest. So similarly, your flight on the plane is a preparation for your. Look, let's, let's put it this way. I mean, this might help. Soif ma'asiv machshavat techila. The end of deed, getting to Oregon, is the first thing in thought. Right, that's what you have in mind. I'm going to Oregon. But all those steps in between are necessary to get there. Those are the the, the externality. But the Rebbe says that somehow the externality is even higher than the, and I don't see how that could be higher than the actual, like, shiva call, let's say. Because the end is wedged, the beginning is wedged in the end. The lowest comes the highest. It looked from one perspective, that the young get used to the notion of that there are shnehem emes, two ways of looking at things, and they're both true. The one we just described, the preparation is secondary, right? But the second, but the preparation is essential. If you didn't get on the plane, you'd never get to Oregon. So it's essential. So it's lower because that isn't what you're after, but it's higher in that it's rooted higher because you have to you have to get there. In actuality, the Oregon is the destination. That's the higher thing. That's the mitzvahs, right? But the preparation uh, is has a virtue in that it gives chayas, or allows the accomplishment of the deed to be done in the most beautiful way. You could think of preparing for Shabbos and Shabbos. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. For instance, simple. I don't get. I wouldn't, you know, hang hang on that last thing that you said. Just think, think about the first thing, which, where your problem was. Every day you have opportunity to do something, but those opportunities generally, okay, how do I get to there? How do I get to what I need to need to accomplish? And that's the the chetzonius leads to. This is the perspective that that preparation is the chetzonius, and the panemius is the actual deed. Thank you. Anything, anybody else? Okay, Ubechain. Having learned what we just learned, so what? What are we going to take away? We know mitzvahs are the acre. That we got over and over again. <laughs> Which is, I'm not making to belittle it. On the contrary, it has to be enlarged, right? But we, what else, what, what do we, Pick up today that might be a little bit, uh, a little bit new edge for us. 
Mm -hmm. um, that we, we shouldn't freeze. We should always do the deed, even if we're not sure about our intention. But in reflection over the day, when we do cheshbon hanafesh, we could always just consider to, you know, feed into our intentions and make them more and more pure, but still stay devoted to doing. Right. Add a little soul to your, your deed. A lot of soul. And you'll enjoy it more, too. I mean, again, that's, you know, the Baal Shem Tov, that this was a become crusty, right? Bafrumt, as we say. And he wanted to breathe life into them. Badia? And, and, and what about also just that really every everything that we do is in preparation for another thing, like just our own right. life. Right. So, so right. it just mindful, you know, constantly, really, from That's opening beautiful. to... It, 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 okay. No, every destination is just a preparation for a further step on the way. Right. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, then. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.